Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, I have yet another unboxing. Um, like I said, um, this is another purchase that I got from eBay. Um, like I said, I usually don't order a lot of stuff from there just because I'm kind of tentative on the condition. But, um, so this particular bag I have never had before, ever. Um, it's been on my wish list because I've been focusing on that lately. What's been on my wish list and it's been on it for a couple of years. So, um, yeah, making sure. Sorry, it's kind of sideways here, but anyways, um, that's okay. Um, I looked at the photos on eBay and it did say it's got an issue with the bag. It's on the back of it, so you're not going to see it. It's kind of, there's a little bit of a gouge in the leather, but if you look at the photo, it doesn't look terrible. Like it's, you know, it didn't go all the way through the bag. If it did, I would not be buying it, but you know, this is, since it's not a color I usually wear, but I will wear it, I'm okay with this. And I really wanted to see what this bag was like. Um, picture, the other pictures look pretty good. So I don't know what this is going to look like. So let's get into it and unbox it. And it came in a Whitman's Russell Stover box. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I am concerned the width of this box, I don't know if that's big enough for this bag. Um, I know when you guys had the same issue, like you weren't sure about the size of the box, so I don't know. All right. Okay. Well, box was too small. But, oh wow. Here's the bag. Sorry, it's kind of backlit, but it's all black. Let's see if you can kind of see that. It smells like quarantine. It looks like the original packaging. Yeah, see if you look at the type of the plastic that's right here, that's original. But they packed it really bad. Um, let's see. So this is the Dunian Burke Florentine. Um, oh, I'm just it's, it's escaping me the name of it you know what this is oh the Libby Hobo and it says it's 13 inches across and I think seven or eight inches um, length so the flaw that the person talked about why it was a, it was a really good deal is on the back and I don't know if you could see it right there it's a little bit of a gouge it's about half an inch it looked bigger online so that's good um, there's one more on the bottom, but it's not really that deep. It's like very surface. One thing I noticed, and maybe it's because it's in black Florentine, I've never had a black Florentine bag, is when you touch it, it, just, it feels like kind of rough. Like, whenever I get a Florentine, it's nice and smooth, and but maybe it's just the way it's made, so I don't know. I don't like how they stuffed it, but anyways. Ooh, this looks okay. I feel like the green suede is kind of a lighter color. I could be wrong. So it has, this one is known for having a lot of green suede. Okay, the inside is same as the Dunian Burke camera and satchel. It has the um, cream colored uh, leather in there. This looks great. Everything has a zip pocket in the back. Oh, it still has its stickers in the back. Uh, that's good. This one does have two slip pockets in the front. I've always wanted this bag. I think I'm going to keep it and just stuff it and see how it looks. So I'm going to take this off. It looks like it wasn't used at all, guys. Seriously, it doesn't smell weird. It just smells like good old Florentine, which is great. So it smells like nobody, you know, had it, you know, weird smells, nothing like that. I think I'm going to keep it. So, all right. So, feature about this bag is it has the lobster claw, Dunian Burke um, clip, um, lobster claw enclosure. Now it's looking kind of cute. So, I'm going to take off the other plastic. It's kind of, it is kind of a heavy bag because it's got all that hardware on it, you know, and the lobster claw. So I think I'm going to keep this. And it has the tag. I don't think anybody's used this. Um, 
So let me take that off real quick. So I'm just going to remove that much. But here it is. Like I said, it's bent, but it's cute. I've always wanted this. Um, and there's the back. Got four feet on the bottom. It smells really good. I want to get it natural eventually, too. But yeah, there's the inside. Sorry, it's backlit. I got to work on getting more lighting. But um, so, a little interesting thing about the seller on eBay. I looked, I saw this, and then I checked out their whole, you know, store or quote, store, on quote unquote. And I looked at all their other inventory. They had a ton, most of it's Dunian Burke. And it's a lot of bags, like not hundreds, but I don't know, maybe maybe 50, something like that, a little less. And what did I notice? Um, it just seemed weird. Like, I think I have a guess that this seller might have bought in a bunch of bags from QVC or HSN that were as is because it's got the gouge, you know, in the back and the bottom and if I, I'm sorry, I can't quite remember. I should have came more prepared, but like I noticed some, it was similarities between the items from the seller. Like, like it was a, like most people don't sell like 50 Dunian Burke bags at once, but I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But a lot of them were, what I noticed was like, it might have like one flaw and then the inside was pristine, just like this one. It looked like nobody ever used it. And they just looked like as is bags, like pretty good condition, but actually you know, better than pretty good. But um, once I'll have to go look at their store again, and in my next video, I'll tell you more when I have more details. But I'm like, hmm, this looks like stuff from QVC. It could have been as is. Um, but I'll update on that. I think it's really cute. I will try to stuff this, you guys. Um, I'm not too upset. Oh, and here's the sides with the pleats. Um, but usually it's like more out like this. Um, I'm not going to get upset because I know leather is forgiving when, when you can stuff things it should go back into shape um, it has a nice wide strap it almost looks like a yeah it's black so this is in the color black if I didn't say it already and um, I can kind of see in the light it's it's like I said when you touch it it's like it is smooth there's there is some pe pebbling but it's very small little pebble grain but when you touch it it's um, it's like a rough you know which is different but I'm okay with it so I'm going to go ahead and stuff it for about a week and then I'm going to update you guys on that. Um, like I said, I have more unboxes on the way of stuff from my wish list. Um, and I'm like, you know, I can add stuff to my collection now. Might as well do it. So let me know what you guys think. This is one of my favorite kind of bags and I just love it. But I think I can get the crease out more than likely, but I'm okay with that. And it was a good price, really good price. So. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you guys have had any luck with stuffing bags. Because I haven't had to do that for, you know, if something was really warped like this. Let me know what you guys have any tricks behind your sleeves. So, alright. Talk to you guys later. Bye.